Hi, it's Carla with Carla Dreyer Design, and today I'm going to give you the top eight tips to decorating the perfect tree. So tip number one is to choose a theme, and I can't believe I'm actually saying this because the thought of a theme tree is not my usual style, but when I say theme, there's a few questions you should ask yourself. What do you want to feel when you see the tree? Do you want a colorful tree? Do you want a tree that's more kid-friendly? Do you want a tree that has bling? So choose your theme and that will help you narrow down the decorations you're going to choose. Tip number two is once you've chosen your theme, take inventory of what you already have. So pull out that bin of decorations, go through it and set aside the ones that would go with the theme from the questions you asked for number one. This will completely help you and to my surprise when I did that, I had a lot more that fit into my theme than I thought I did. Tip number three, so you've chosen your theme, you've gone through your current decorations, now it's time to go shopping. And when you're going shopping, you're knowing what fillers to add. When I say fillers, get decorations that are gonna be that last bit of addition. In this case, what I did is got these branches here, white spray painted branches. I bought them this way, but you could just get branches out of your backyard, spray paint them, and they were great at adding at the end for fillers. So tip number four, and I haven't even started talking about the decorating yet, so now is to start decorating. And the first tip when you decorate, let's put the tree topper on first. The reason you wanna put the tree topper on first is if you put it on last, you might actually climb up there and ruin all the decorations you've put on. I also wanna challenge you to think of your tree topper as something that's unique, something that's different. In this case, we did an owl. It could be a larger ornament. It could be something that's actually non-traditional and not Christmas-like at all. So put your tree topper on first. Tip number five, and this is the first time I've done this and some of you may totally disagree with me, but I'm gonna say skip the garland. It is just too difficult. I have skipped the garland this year and I love the look of the decorations without it. The garland can actually be really difficult to get around the tree that's evenly and not lop lopsided. So I say this year, just skip it and go with a complete tree of decorations. So tip number six, we're actually gonna start decorating the tree and I'm gonna say start with eight to 10 of your showstopper decorations. I'm gonna show you what I mean by that. So in this case, these were our eight to 10 showstopper decorations. We chose something that we love, they were bigger, they're the ones that are our favorite, and we put them at the front of the tree, and then we're able to decorate around that, and it made it way easier. And tip number seven, we're actually gonna get to really decorating the tree now. You've got your topper on, you've got your eight to 10 showstoppers. Now I want you to start with your largest decorations, put them at the bottom of the tree, and work your way up to the smallest. And last tip, tip number eight, which is my personal favorite, do not forget about the bottom of the tree. Here's where you can have a ton of fun. What I suggest is put sheepskins on the bottom. In this tree, what I did was add a small sled with some gifts. I added a marquee uh, reindeer that lit up. This is a place where you can really decorate, add personality, think baskets, think woven textures. It's a really fun place, and a lot of times we forget about the bottom of our tree as a decorating spot. So decorate there and have fun. So I hope these tips have helped in decorating your Christmas tree. If you liked this video, please like it. And please leave me a comment below of some of your favorite decorating tricks. I'd love to hear about them. Also subscribe to my YouTube channel as I do post new videos every Thursday. Also for this video, I created something super special. I created you a checklist of tree decorating tips and I'll leave the link below. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you next week.